We're talking today about the importance of doing a pregnancy specific program while you're pregnant. I'm always talking about how if we were training for a marathon, we would do marathon specific training. We wouldn't go and play volleyball as our training for a marathon. And pregnancy is like that marathon. The, the pregnancy itself, the way the body changes, childbirth and then life as a new mum, we need to equate that to a marathon and do the right training. So we need to be training our body specifically for the changes that are about to happen through those nine months of pregnancy. And those changes then stay with us for a good 12 months post birth. So we need to train the body in the right way. Get the right muscles strong so that as our posture changes, as our belly grows, as our baby grows, our body can support us so that we can have a comfortable pregnancy journey, avoiding the pain that we often see clients present with. So we often see clients presenting with back pain, pelvic pain, pelvic floor issues, abdominal separation. These are all the things that can happen if A, we're not exercising and B, we're not exercising correctly. So we definitely in pregnancy can't take a one size fits all approach. We can't just rock up to the gym and do the program that everybody else is doing. We need to train our body accordingly. So pregnancy is a time when your body becomes the most amazing factory in the world. You're creating a life in there. You're creating bones and brain and lungs and a whole nervous system. And it's no easy task. So it's super important that we look after ourselves with the right kind of exercise, the right kind of nutrition, and also enough rest and relaxation so that you and baby can grow healthy and happy. You want to be taking on a program that is specifically designed for pregnancy, that's going to specifically target the correct muscles to get you looking and feeling your best, but most of all, to make your pregnancy journey as comfortable as possible. It will keep you in a healthy weight range, and it'll help you to stay mobile and agile right up until the day you give birth. There's lots of women and you hear lots of stories about how women are lounge bound by the end of their pregnancy. There's so much we can do to avoid that, but we need to be training the body in the right way. It's great during pregnancy to have somewhere to belong, a sense of belonging, where you can walk into a group and everybody else in the room is going through the same thing. You know, if you've had a hard day, you've got this ache, that pain, you know, you've just had the excitement of your first ultrasound, the other women in the room are sharing that too. So it's really important to get that sense of belonging and that sense of community at this beautiful time in your life. The whole world is about to change for you. Everything's gonna be so different. And it's really nice to have friends that can support you through that process. So some of the things that we see go wrong during pregnancy, when people are just taking on a generic exercise program or they're not taking on an exercise program at all. We're seeing massive weight gain, people gaining 20 to 30 kilos and they don't lose it post baby. And then that just compounds. You know, I spoke to a lady just the other week who a year on from pregnancy, she said, I put on 30 kilos during the pregnancy and I haven't lost any of that. I'm back at 30 kilos bigger than I was previous to baby. The other things that we're seeing is some horrific abdominal separations. Tummy muscles need to separate in order for our baby to grow, but they also should come back together post birth. And what we're seeing if people are doing incorrect exercise is that that abdominal separation isn't closing and they're left with a gully down the middle of their tummy, which has them looking four to five months pregnant, even after they've had the baby. It also means that the organs aren't sitting as snugly as they once were. Things can move around. You get greater prevalence of back pain because things just aren't working like they should. So really important that we're doing the correct exercise for the deepest abdominals and not targeting the incorrect set of abdominal muscles, which is happening in most gym programs. The other thing that we're seeing is pelvic pain. This is where you're having pelvic pain or pain in the pubic region. It's quite a sharp pain. And you know, people often talk about back pain during pregnancy, but we see so much pelvic pain where ladies actually are almost bound to the lounge in those latter weeks of pregnancy because it's so excruciatingly painful and again that's coming from a either not exercising at all or b doing incorrect exercise that's put us in a lot of asymmetrical positions under load which then creates that pelvic pain later on so by doing the correct exercises we can strengthen our bodies to help support the pelvis as we have those weight changes and postural shifts as the baby grows the other big thing that we see is pelvic floor weakness and sometimes prolapse so we need to ensure that the program that we're doing strengthens the pelvic floor and doesn't place undue stress and strain on the pelvic floor 
during the pregnancy and also in those early weeks post birth when our body is still trying to get strong again and recover post baby. So it's really important that you take on an exercise program that's going to help you to be fit and strong and in control of your changing body while you're pregnant. It's super important to not just take on a generic program and think I'll just make slight modifications for pregnancy because whilst that will probably keep your baby safe, it's not the best thing for your body and we want you to be able to sail through pregnancy feeling great and for your body to be able to function effectively so that you can be mobile and agile right up until the day you give birth and also super important if you've got other toddlers and children to look after.